Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg met with President Donald Trump in the Oval Office of the White House on Thursday. And while Zuck didn't bother in to mention the meeting on any of his social media channels, the President proudly posted a photo of the two men shaking hands on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, which is also owned by Facebook. Zuckerberg, arguably the most powerful person in the world, as a leader of a company with data on over 2.3 billion people, was in Washington DC on Thursday to meet meet with a number of legislators. One legislator, Republican Senator George Hawley of Missouri, even told Zuckerberg to sell off Instagram and WhatsApp, an idea that the billionaire Facebook founder was not willing to entertain. Zuckerberg sat down with President Trump, reportedly including Dan Savino, the White House Director of Social Media, who was not open to journalists and news photographers. A Facebook spokesperson told CBS News that the meeting with Trump was good and constructive, though the tech giant did not respond to questions from Gizmodo. President Trump has reportedly denounced the heads of social media companies like Twitter and Facebook over the past years, claiming without evidence that they harbor an anti-conservative bias and restrict the speech of Trump supporters. Trump has even asked why supposedly liberal con institutions aren't censored on platforms like Facebook, a question that would seem to contradict his alleged support for free speech. Zuckerberg also met the Democratic Senator Mark Warner of Virginia this week to discuss the future of social media. Warner organized a dinner in Washington on Wednesday night where they talked about Libra, Facebook's digital currency that's already controversial all around the world. Zuck told Warner that Facebook and the Libra Association, a Switzerland-based group of companies, would not launch the, the cryptocurrency until they got by, until they got buy-in from U.S. financial regulators, according to Washington Post. Trump supporters who use Facebook left thousands of comments on the White House photo of. Ex to express their disgust with Zuckerberg and demonstrate just how vital and insightful these social media platforms can be for a functioning, for a functioning democracy like the United States. Ask him when his crews are going to, qu to quiet suppressing conservatives' views, one Facebook user wrote. How is he allowed at the White House he censors conservatives and tampers with elections, another user said. Please suspend all account communists, wrote another Facebook user. But perhaps one Facebook user who commented on the Trump Zuck photo said it best. Took the words right out of my mouth. I can't wait for the 2020 presidential election. It's going to be both normal and good. It's, it's tough to predict the future, but at least we can all count on those two things. The next election will be normal and it will be good. Mark is, presumably Mark, Mark is presumably Mark Zuckerberg, though it's nice to know that people of Facebook aren't too formal and like to use first names when issuing official press releases. Facebook said that it didn't have anything more to share about the meeting. Update at 2.35 p.m. The White House just published a new photo of it to its Flickr account and there's another familiar face that appears in that meeting. Yes, that's Jared Kushner in the middle, the president's son-in-law and a man who's supposed to be bringing peace to the Middle East. How's that going, Jared? Frankly, Zuck doesn't look too excited to be there, but maybe he always looks like that. That is it for today's news, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.